Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Station Ears. Uh, things look a little different around here. Uh, they are. I've been uh, doing a few things. Uh, one is I actually saw this thing, and I keep forgetting to turn it off. Uh, a portable light. Apparently, you can actually turn this thing on, put it inside a container or up in a locker or something like that, and it will still emit light. Uh, apparently, you can have it on your inventory, and it'll create light too, but uh, it's always forgetful to leave it. Also, always forgetful to turn it off because it's got on a battery. Yeah, I'm tripping over my words today. Uh, as you can see, the batteries are full. Uh, that's because I had to hook up the solid fuel generator outside. Uh, I have done a few things, so uh, you can see the extra wire here. Uh, I was actually trying to see if I could use the control panels for them, and we'll get to that in just a second here. But as you can see, there's a new set of wires out there. Uh, the sun is actually moving. I have been messing with the, the consoles, and I found out the solar panel control. So this is actually controlling the solar panels. I did have some trouble trying to get this set up. I ended up frying a whole bunch of heavy coil uh, because I had the battery looped back to the input on the other side, so it was basically bypassing the APC and you can see all this wire fried, junction in the back there fried, couple outside fried, so I had to redo it all. Uh, these don't need to be there. I was trying to see if I could use uh, the graph display to actually be able to uh, <laughs> read the power power storage. I don't know how much juice is in the boxes. That's, that's what I'm trying to say. But as you can see, I do have made a few of them. There was ship display. I was trying to see if that would maybe show me what my power storage was and then there's power control but that's basically you set up a a console so it ha basically has an on off button and you can choose hit the button to shut off basically all your conveyor belts on one button or certain section of your factory or station or whatever and then there was uh, a graph display that's what I was trying to figure out with uh, the batteries uh, this one here though is set up to hash display and this one is actually quite interesting uh, is there anything we need ah yes there is actually something we need we're gonna make six more solar panels so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in here and we're gonna go down to scroll all the way down to the kit and I can't wait till we get a search or something in here and we eventually find a way to solar panel uh, I was messing with the shoots too, as you can see over there, and it seems like the shoots do hold at one inventory per section, so that might be something I could look at. So I'm going to go ahead and make another six of these. Now if I run over here, it tells me what it's making. So that's cool, so if you get uh, a whole bunch of stuff queued up and you want to see if it's done with a certain queue, or if it's moved into the next one, at least you can see what's going on. And then it'll just tell you what the solar panels are outputting here. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. So I can actually see how much it goes, how many solar panels there are. Uh, the, this is actually the, the rotation. Because when I place these ones down, they were set to pivot on this side. So I had to rotate it, and that's actually percentage, not degrees. So keep that in mind. Uh, using this, uh, I have noticed there's some logic circuit a logic motherboard we can make for the computer to make logic circuits and stuff like that, but uh, uh, we need electrum for that, so we'll have to get that, uh, that furnace up and running pretty soon here, or the art furnace. Uh, a couple of things I wanted to do. Uh, one, we're gonna I'm gonna have to start generating some oxygen because I do have some in here, but I need to make more. Uh, doesn't yeah? So we got a couple of tanks left in there. Uh, I know that this ice, when it, when it evaporates, becomes oxygen, which is what's in here. We're not using an oxygen-nitrogen blend of air, we're using oxygen. So this stuff, now this will evaporate. Now I do know that the vents can actually suck up, for instance, evaporated ice. So I can be able to suck that up and use, uh, that'll be an active vent, so it has to have power. And basically when the ice evaporates, it'll suck it in and pump it into a tank. And at the same time, I can have another valve with a, another tank storage to collect it all. I also want to do the same thing similar with uh, this furnace here. Now, I don't know if you can actually see it or if it's actually showing up. Oh, never mind. 
but you'll probably see like little particles that's actually gas coming off of this and apparently you can actually use this gas bottle it up and use it as jetpack fuel so that's an interesting thing uh, I made a light too it's lovely bright believe it or not this thing over here is a better light than that uh, but I'm curious to see how long the batteries will actually last uh, so yeah we should have our solar panels Helps if I turn the stacker on. I hope I didn't lose any. Five. Okay, good. Oh yeah, that's right. We only stack on the five. Uh, also, I don't know if anybody knows, but coils are considered tools. So you can put them in even in your mining bag. You can put tools in there. Uh, and you can also do that in your tool belt. So, yeah, comes in handy. Uh, I was trying to see if a mining belt was considered to be a tool, but that wasn't the case, and apparently you can't label them either. But anyway, so I have that. I need, need coil and heavy coil. Now, which one did I put in that one? That, yeah. Uh, also, uh, this is another interesting one too. Let's not do it this bag. Uh, you can actually drag and drop into other containers or belts I want those cables drop them on the floor for now if I pick this up I can actually drop it into these belts for instance I can put it in there and there it is and no there's there's just my cables okay well I gotta find a place for these circuit boards and then uh, extend that platform over there a little bit and I'll bring you back and we'll later put some more solar panels in Okay, I'm back. Uh, I also realized too, I might have a bit of a bit of an issue with the solar panels because those ones are already set to a certain distance, so I might actually have to. Tower, no. uh, shut up. <laughs> I might have to uh, change things up a little bit. Okay, gotta make sure that I have the power on that side or right, away from me. Uh, but yeah, I might have to set these manually to what the other ones are set to first before I go ahead and uh, wire, wire them up. Yeah. Sorry, I had to think about what button to push to get it to swap my hand. Or swap it in my hand. So now the fun part of pulling out the wrench. Let's uh, get those out of there. Grab uh, the wrench. And let's see, what do we got here? Vertical 10, 90, 10 and 90. Okay, so I gotta do this with all of them. And that will do that, I'll be right back. Okay, now, now for the cable. So now I gotta grab the old wire cutters, I gotta take this one out, this is gonna be our data cable only, so I don't have to worry about it being a heavy duty. Let's actually leave that there and we'll do that. And I should have enough. Uh, let's see here. We'll go with the junction first, and I'm gonna have to make some more cables. So uh, let me get this all wired up, and I'll bring you back. Okay, I think I have just enough now. I got the side down already, I got the heavy coils up there to bring the power in. These are just for the data. Uh, this, I do believe, is connected to the power on the, uh, the other side of the APC, so, uh, because the console needs to get power. Now, from what I can tell, uh, all the wiring hooks up together like a giant network. So, as long as you have, let's say, well not so the batteries, but Let's say all the conveyors, the fabricator, and the art furnace, and all that stuff hooked up on the same power grid, like same set of power lines on this side of the eight power controller, uh, that you can place a, a control, uh, a console, yes, that's the word, console anywhere. It doesn't matter if it's close to the machine or not, as long as it's connected to that wire and has a proper circuit board and it's configured properly, that it'd be able to read the machine. Same goes with the computer. Now, I have not actually used too much of the computer, but uh, we'll get there when the time comes. 
So now, yeah, uh, that's something we have to get into soon too. Is food, and uh, I just remember that I can actually start should start getting that set up with the hydroponics. Okay, where are we? So we need 50 percent. Oh, yeah. Okay, hang on, hang on. We gotta go back to ten. You know why? Because we gotta program it. We gotta run over here, get the disk. I like how we just have this like universal software that works on everything. Put the disk in. So then if you go in here. So what it's gonna do is when I get to the top eventually. Okay. So the white ones that are the ones that are already on there, I believe. Really? Hmm. Let me check this quickly. The good news is I got it working. The bad news is I forgot one. I forgot a solar panel. So let me take care of this quickly. I should see what we're at here. It was five thousand. Yeah, let me take care of this. We'll be right back. Okay. So I got it all set, and uh, the generator doesn't seem to be affecting the power up power of the actual solar panel, even though it's in the way. It's about the same. Even me. Oh wow, actually I do. Okay, good to know. Okay, so now... Now we have 12, 12 solar panels. Uh, uh, no, we don't actually, because I think... I think I have to put that disc back in. Nope, and there we go. Take it out. 12 solar panels. And they should all be working at the same time. Now I want to make a solar farm. Huge solar farm. Anyway, it is dark, so the next thing we're going to do is I actually want to. What we'll do is uh, we'll keep this smelting. No, nothing to smelt. Smelt that, will you? Uh, oh yeah, I want to check, uh, check out conveyors. These are all the discs I have. Graph, discs, there's uh, airlock and advanced airlock control. But I wanted to see if conveyors go through walls. And I think it will. Oh, hang on. Will they actually go through walls? Will they properly go through walls, I should ask. The reason why I'm asking is to put stuff through things. Like, uh, so that way I can sort of create like a pressurized room and not have to worry about going in. Just have like, you know what I mean. I think you know what I mean. I have no idea. Do I know what I mean? I have no idea. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and put it to shoot. And see what this does. I do have a couple over here, but I'm not going to bother pulling out the drill or the wrench, whatever tool I need to uh, undo when I could just print one in. In a moment. Give me that. Uh, wait, hold on. There we go. So now. It does. Ooh. Ooh. For science, I want to test something. Okay, I want to see if the conveyors will push it through a junction because it does have an arrow. So let's see what happens. Let's. Let's not do that. That doesn't work. Okay, that's not going to push it through. Hmm. 
All right, the next test is to see if it'll actually bring it through the wall, which I highly doubt. No, yes, there's a window there. Hmm. It'll have to be shoots then, I guess. Because the shoot should transfer in. We can actually test this here. Uh, see what I need to take this thing off. Uh, I'm going to guess the drill. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Actually, that was a shoot. Ah. Anyway. Uh, enough humming and hawing here. Let's do this. And we will rotate it. And this is just to see if... <laughs> An inlet. Ooh. Oh, maybe a conveyor works on this. Let us find it. Oh, that's the wrong button. Yeah, I know I'm fiddling, farting around, but I'm, uh, I'm investigating. Okay, let's try that. Uh, let me get this hooked up, hooked up and I'll be back. Okay, let's try this. Turn the belt on. Make sure it's going that way. That is empty. So now I want to see if this will actually go in. Because if, if this will work, I'm pretty sure the chute will go through and it should keep it sort of airtight. Uh, at least that's what I'm hoping. That's, uh, Put our tools away so I don't lose them and so they don't clog up my inventory. Uh, let's see what can I s what should I smelt? Uh, iron, iron, or iron. Let's see what happens. Okay, perfect. So then that means that means that will not work. They got to be closer. I want to see if they stay on the conveyor too. So then that way I can go on a mine run and just dump everything on there and just hit the button every once in a while. Okay. Cool. Oh. No. No. Physics does take a hold. But that means I can use, uh, I can always have shoots going up and down and up and down zigzagging to go and maybe set up some sort of logic control, I have no idea, but that is that, so then if I should, there you go, now you can see those fumes, apparently I can actually capture those, but yeah, well that iron processes fat, it goes fast, not like the, the coal, but anyways, uh, I'll be right back. Okay, I got some Jai shoots printing right now, I was uh, trying a few things to see if I could sort of activate the arc furnace through the uh, control uh, console uh, but that's not the case apparently I have, have to get to IO circuits to do stuff like that basically read if there's something in, in, in the inventory or the input and uh, activate it from there but anyways what we're going to do is uh, first I'm going to take this tank off I've been thinking about where I'm going to set this up and I might just set it up here for now I haven't really decided what I'm going to do with the base but I want to take this off so I don't lose any of the good stuff. Let's go ahead and drag this out of the way if I can find the handle. Oh, it helps if I actually have a free hand. Okay, let's put this here for now. All right, so what I want to do is... Basically, I want to keep this basically set up where it is. Now, do I need a wrench? Hand drill. You put it on with a wrench, you take it off with a drill. Go figure. I'll put that here for now. Uh, I'll grab some pipes. Won't need that. And let's see here. We're going to have that. Then we're going to have the T section. T junction. Facing this way. And then. From here, it's just going to be this. I'm going to place that there. 
and hmm. actually I don't, didn't even need to do it this way because all I really have to do is uh, have the vent in a room uh, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a little chamber with a, a chute and uh, there's a, a chute that gives you an, an option like the, the art furnace here where you put it, put something in and then you pull a handle and it shoots it in. So I'm going to do that, I'm going to set that up so we can hopefully dump some ice in there, it evaporates and uh, the vent takes it up. It's going to be all glassed in in a box and hopefully it's airtight so let's find out. Okay, I think I have it all set up. So let's uh, see what I got here. A bit of a bit of a mess. I'll definitely if this works. I'll definitely rework it. Uh, oh yeah, we gotta put this back on the on the thing because I never actually did take it off. I gotta do some of these containers. That knocking them all over the place. Uh oh oh, physics. Why do you gotta be? Okay. Definitely doesn't like to fly. That's fine, neither do I. But I do anyways. Okay, let me just attach that. Get that back in here. And so what should happen is basically uh yeah, I'm gonna put the ice in here and hit the lever and I'll pop it in there and it'll drop it in here where it should evaporate and this vent is set should be set to inward so basically it's going to take the atmosphere and suck it into here in theory and then what I've done is I have set up get the window in it's hard to tell if it's actually a window except for when you have a reflection from your light I've set them up to the power control so excuse me uh, so basically I just hit that button and it turns on both the vent and the, the chute. So now let's see if this actually works. Now let's see it's in this bag here. Okay, do that and it goes in there now it's actually evaporating. That I do not know. So we'll open that up and see if the pressure in this actually goes up. It is. And I've been losing oxygen out of this apparently. Maybe they have oxygen boil off. I don't know if you can actually see it because it's the glare, but it's definitely, definitely working. So cool. I'm going to dump my ice in there. It fills up my oxygen for me and it is completely gone. Well, at least it works. I know I got the top filled in. At least I think I do. Come on. There we go. Yeah. I got all, all the walls on. So that works. So I could do the same thing with the um, arc furnace here and capture the fumes off of that use that as jet pack repellent. When the time comes, I gotta figure out how to actually activate that. It might be easier to do it with, uh, with um, the furnace. Yes, the name is right in front of me. Uh, it might be better to do this because we can uh, smelt more ore at the same time. Uh, all I have to do is hook up, as you can see, first input, first output. Uh, this output here, basically, I can have that pumping right into a tank like that one over there. And then I can use that for my jetpack fuel. So that, that's pretty cool. Uh, I think, let me see here. Yeah, I think we're probably going to end this one here. I've been dripping around a little too much. I was planning on actually trying to get something set up, but I wanted to find out if I could actually make uh, uh, make oxygen and actually capture it. So in that way, I can actually pressurize the room. And it works. So, yeah, that's definitely going to be good. I think uh, next episode, I'm going to work on trying to get some sort of habitat-like space uh, so I can... You know, open up my helmet for a change and breathe some some fresh compressed air. But anyways, uh, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave me a like. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later.